Let's recap the main topics that we've covered throughout the course. Module 1 introduced you to the TensorFlow library and provided an overview of tensors, variables, and placeholders. After working through a Hello World example, we covered the implementation of a few basic machine learning models, like linear regression, nonlinear regression, and logistic regression. We also covered a few key activation functions, like sigmoids and ReLU. Module 2 started by explaining the intuition and motivation behind the convolutional neural network. We provided an overview of the convolution operation and the main ideas behind feature learning. Then we showed you how to implement a convolutional network in TensorFlow. As an example, we worked with the MNIST dataset of handwritten digits. In Module 3, we explained how sequential data posed a problem to traditional models and how the recurrent neural network model was a better solution. Since recurrent nets can be expensive, we showed how the long, short-term memory model could be introduced to use recurrent nets at a large scale. We then covered recursive neural tensor networks and a few language modeling applications. Module 4 began with an overview of unsupervised learning and how it differs from supervised learning. We then explained the structure of the restricted Boltzmann machine, as well as how to build and train one in TensorFlow. As a practical example, we provided an RBM implementation of a movie recommendation system. The final module provided an overview of the structure and application of the autoencoder. We provided a TensorFlow implementation of an autoencoder, as well as a deep belief network. Now that you've completed this course, you should be ready to start using the TensorFlow library in your own applications. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoyed Deep Learning with TensorFlow.